Alrighty, another hackish video on how to fix your Textron, Wildcat, Arctic Cat, uh, Bass Pro, Outdoor World, Super Tracker, whatever the hell they're calling this thing these days. Um, fix it in regards to the uniball joint and the upper swing arm. Mine went, uh, went bad. I had the shop fix the other side, the non-driver side, on warranty. But uh, I, I got a spare ball from them because I knew the other one was going to go out soon. And I got about 3,000 very rough miles on this thing. I live in uh, northern Nevada. And if it ain't rocky, it's more rocks. Anyhow, um, let me see if I can hold the camera here and show you how loose this thing is. But uh, it's not going to... It's not really showing. There's no leverage on it. But uh, when you're riding down the road, it sounds like you got a, uh, a rock this size sitting in a can rattling around. Okay. So this is a wear item. It's 30 bucks. Big deal. Anyhow, you're going to pull the, pull the wheel off. You're going to undo the top yoke joint, if you want to call it that. Um, I think it's a 15 and an 18. Let me just make sure. Yep, 15 and 18, not too torqued down. Pull that off, and then you'll recognize these rubber boots. And what you want to do is hit it with a heat gun, because there's an embedded nylon ring in there. Well, it's probably a metal ring, actually. You can see it. The, the nylon ring's on this side. And you see all that crap in there from, from uh, me spraying lube in there once in a while. Probably not the best idea. Anyhow, take your heat gun, get it reasonably toasty and then take a, your standard pick and it just pops right out and uh, this will be setting in there and that ring will be firmly embedded and you can see this ridge on the back side and you can see that groove there there's a uh, a holeless c-clip that holds that in there and that's really easy to pop out with the same pick so that's in there, and what I did was took the same heat gun, heated up on both sides, and held it straight with the screwdriver and whacked the living you know what out of it on the other side. And it took once I got it heated up, came right out. I tried it unheated at first; it wasn't moving. So you want to heat it to expand the metal. And now we're cleaning it all out, got all the crap out of there, got a nice new tight one, and I have one. Let me show you. Hold on a sec. Okay, here's the one from the uh, passenger side that was taken off. And just out of curiosity, I uh, took a uh, cutting wheel and cut half of that, uh, the whatever you want to call it, the joint, the ring, the socket, off. And you can see it has a like a nylon injected runner in there that's more than likely filled in through that hole molded in and that's what's that's what's wearing and disappearing you can see it doesn't protrude anymore when you look at the new one you can well maybe you can't but it's way tight when it's new but um, that is the new one right yeah that one's warm Anyhow, the, that nylon is hiding in there, and that's what that's what wears. That hole is not for lubing. I'm pretty positive that's how that plastic gets in there. Obviously, I'm no mechanic engineer. I just figure this stuff out because I don't like paying shop prices, and most shops got goofy 18-year-old kids on that get distracted by their vapes and their cell phones and everything else. So I'm going to hold that on there. I'll take a socket. Push it back in, tap it in. You don't want to tap on the uh, the ears here. You could screw up that plastic in there. Tap it back in, put the C-clip on, bolt it all back together. We should have a nice quiet ride. So there you go. Do it yourself. Uh, you can try asking questions below, but I find that the Double X Wildcat Owners Facebook page is a great resource. Uh, a fellow on there helped me figure this one out as far as using the heat. 
to get these off because I was not having any luck prying them off and couldn't really even figure out how the hell they were even being held in there because you can stretch them and pull them all you want. They ain't coming out until you heat them up and put a put a pick in there. So ask questions below or get on that Facebook page and have fun. Happy trails. Well, I'm not done yet giving you a little more information. Um, pressing that baby in, I was able to use a uh, 32 socket to get it uh, flush, but it needs to go beyond flush in order to fit the C-clip. And I luckily had a 27. Uh, it was like the perfect fit. Uh, let's see if I can show you here. Line that baby up. Do it here. Yeah, you can see it just lines up perfectly. You don't want to whack on the, the ball itself. You want to whack on the socket so that you're not putting any wear on that plastic. So that got it in nice and flush. I was able to get the C-clip. And then when you go to put these rubber boots back on, you'll want to warm them up again and tap them in. I, again, I started with the 32 and then just finished with taking the hammer and going around the rim and pushing it in there. But a uh, huge difference. Oh boy, it's going to be nice and smooth. So, there you have it.